<laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Good morning. It's time for stories today. Okay, so today's stories are all about colors. What's your favorite color? I can't find a favorite color because there's so many beautiful colors out there. But maybe you'll find one in one of these books. My first story is called I Know a Wee Piggy. Okay. I know a wee piggy. Who wallowed in brown. Upside down he wallowed in brown. But brown is not for me, he said. I think I'll add a rinse of... What color is next? Red. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in red. Hoof to head, he wallowed in red. He wallowed in red to go with brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, the red's too bright. I think I'll add a wash of... Can you guess what color's next? It's a rhyming book. White. <laughs> I know a wee piggy who wallowed in white. It's not polite to wallow in white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wallowed in brown. Piggy said, too pale. I think I'd rather add a pinch of... their pink cotton candy. Mm. I know a wee piggy who wallowed in pink. How silly to think he needed more pink. He wallowed in pink to go with the white. He wallowed in white to go with the red. He wallowed in, in red to go with the brown. Upside down he wallowed in brown. Pink's a bore. I heard him bellow. I need about a yard of... Did you guess it? Colors next. Yellow. I know a wee piggy who wild in yellow. Slippery fellow to wild in yellow. He wild in yellow to go with the pink. He wild in pink to go with the white. He wild in white to go with the red. He wild in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wild in brown. Piggy squealed, I won't look back until I add a blast of, Oops, sorry, can you think of what color rhymes with that? Hope I'm right. Let's see. who wild in black. Out by a shack, he wild in black. See, it's a rhyming book. Shack in black. He wild in black to go with the yellow. He wild in yellow to go with the pink. He wild in pink to go with the white. He wild in white to go with the red. He wild in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wild in brown. Piggy shouted, now I've seen that I should add a glimpse of You right? Let's see if you guessed it right. Oh, here we go. Green. <laughs> who said green? I know we piggy who wild in green. Oh, what a scene. He'll never get clean. Look at him now. Oh my goodness. <laughs> he wild in green to go with the black. He wild in black to go with the yellow. He wild in yellow to go with the pink. He wild in pink to go with the white. He wild in white to go with the red. He wild in red to go with the brown. Upside down, he wild in brown. Piggy sighed, the green's okay, but now I need a glob of... What are you saying? 
Spray? <laughs> Did you guess spray? I know a wee piggy who wild in gray, orange and gray, a brilliant display. Uh-oh. What does that mean? Uh-oh. Let's find out. Get out of his way. I know a wee piggy who didn't stop there. He wowed in purple. All over the fair. Can you spot him? Do you see the piggy? Hmm? Let's see. Let me see you over here somewhere. Oh, there's a pig. I think that was his mom. There's a red balloon. Hmm, let's see it over closer. Can you see where he is? I hear somebody running. Let's see, let's follow where he's running to. <gasps> right there. He's right there. added the purple to go with the gray. He added the gray to go with the green. He added the green to go with the black. He added the black to go with the yellow. He added the yellow to go with the pink. He added the pink to go with the white. He added the white to go with the red. He added the red to go with the brown. Upside down, he waddled in brown. You see he's upside down? Piggy said, I'm not quite through. I won't be till I add some. Okay, he says, I'm not quite through. What color? <laughs> Let's see. Blue. I know we piggy who wallowed in blue. And he won it, too. Look, he won the blue ribbon. Good job, Piggy. Okay. I did want to um, remind you about signing up for the um, Summer Reading Challenge. It's Imagine Your Story. Our Summer Learning Challenge begins on June 6th and continues through July 25th. Our theme is Imagine Your Story. And you read and complete challenges to earn prizes and raffle tickets to be entered into our grand prize drawing on July 27th. Are you ready to take the challenge? I'm really excited about this. I think if you get online and check it out, you'll be excited about it, okay? So all you have to do is sign up online and we'll go from there, all right? Okay. Our next story is called The Castle of the Green Tree Frog. green tree frog. He could change color by jumping from here to there and there to here and back again. Picasso could plop into a muddy puddle and turn brown. He could dive into a deep cool pool and turn Blue. And bounce back up into his tree to turn green again. But one day, as Picasso jumped from tree to tree, something went wrong. Picasso landed in a jar of jelly beans and turn all sorts of colors. 
He enjoyed being many colors for a while. But when he bounced back up into his tree, he did not turn green. Doesn't look real happy. He slipped into the lime green slime, but still he did not turn green. He wallowed in the watery weeds, reeds and weeds, and, but still he did not turn green. There was no way it seemed to become green again. He looks so sad, look at his sad face. Picasso jumped back to the jelly bean jar. He sighed and tried a pink jelly bean. He thought of what to do next. As he ate another pink jelly bean, he noticed something strange. His pink spots had disappeared. Picasso ate more jelly beans. Blue, red, yellow, purple. Every color except green, of course. At last, he was himself again, a green tree frog. Or, though he, so he thought, oh, look at that, <laughs> didn't quite turn all green. He still has a little of those jelly beans left in him. <laughs> but he's fine with that. Okay. So let's do our action rhyme, okay? So we're gonna do, excuse me, <laughs> one little red fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. One little red fish swimming in the water, bubble, 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 pop! <laughs> All right, let's do the next one. What one this is this? Two, one, two, very good. Two little blue fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Two little blue fish swimming in the water. Ready? Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> All right, now we're up to three. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Three little yellow fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 pop. <laughs> All right, what color is next? How about purple? I'm wearing purple today. Okay, ready? Over here. Four. One, two, three, four. Four little purple fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Four little purple fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! <laughs> All right. And we have to do pink. We just have to. I'm sorry. Ready? And we got to do five. Five little pink fish swimming in the water, swimming in the water, swimming in the water. Five little pink fish swimming in the water. Bubble, 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 bubble. Pop! <laughs> Very good. And my last story today is called White Rabbit's Color Book, okay? There's the white rabbit. One day, White Rabbit found three big tubs of paint, red, yellow, and blue. Very good. Sunshine yellow, she thought, lovely. A quick dip and, what do you think happened? bright as the sun. There she is. Now, what about red, thought Rabbit? Do you know what happens when you mix yellow and red together? Do you know what color that is? Okay, let's see if you're right. 
I'm making you work today. Did you guess? Orange. What's this? Orange rabbit? Look, red and yellow together make orange. Time for a wash, thought rabbit. Have you ever seen an orange rabbit before? I don't think I've seen a red rabbit before. But we will soon. Red on its own this time. So here we go. Splash. Red rabbit sizzling hot red. How cool blue looks, thought rabbit. Okay. Now you got a red rabbit and about to go into blue. You know what color that makes? It's one of our fish. What's this purple rabbit? Look, red and blue together make purple. I'm a very important royal purple rabbit. Princess purple rabbit in the shower. Blue will do, thought Rabbit. Blue Rabbit, icy cold blue, brr. How warm yellow looks, thought Rabbit. Okay, now we're gonna have blue and yellow. What's that? Green. Green rabbit. Look, blue and yellow together make green. Oh dear, no more water. I'm just stuck being green. All that's left is a little red paint. Now, what would happen, thought rabbit? Hmm, what do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's going to stay green? Is there enough red paint to turn it all red again? Let's see. Hooray, brown rabbit. <laughs> Lovely warm brown. Blue, yellow, and red together make brown. And brown's just right for me. There you go. Okay, boy, we went through those stats, didn't we? <laughs> well, I did want to show you the craft if you came and picked it up. This is what we were making today. If you picked up the kit, I wanted something with lots of color. It was very simple. It came with the kite that you peel off the back and then you can stick all these sticks on it. And I did it in the rainbow colors. I started with red and orange and green, or excuse me, yellow and green and blue and purple. Now, I have to apologize because when I tried putting the eyes on, I couldn't get any sticky stuff off of it. So I don't know if they came that way or if I just had a bad set. So I had to cheat and use some glue pads. I'm sorry if you had to come up with another solution, but I'm sure you guys figured it out. And maybe yours worked, mine just didn't, okay? And then the mouth had something sticky on it and you just tied the small string on the top and then you put the long string on the bottom and you can put all these little ties and you can do yours any way you want. You did not have to do it the exact same way I did it or put these on the same way. It's yours, you do it your way, okay? All right, there we go. Hope you came and got one. Just another reminder again about the summer reading challenge. And if you can see that, you go online, you can sign up online, you can participate online. There'll be lots of activities, lots of fun things for you to do. I'm very excited about it. It's gonna be very different, <laughs> but I think it's still important for you to keep reading and have some fun with some of the challenges and stuff, okay? Well, that's all I have for you today. Um, you guys take care of each other and I'll see you next week, okay? And maybe in some of the little other programs that we're doing for the Summer Reading Club, I'll see you, okay? All right. <laughs> I have to reach over and turn this off now. Thank you. <laughs> ah, I'm getting